Hello everybody, today we're making a review about our jean baskets uh, which are small and they are specially made for the small cooling management distillers which are modular. So we will make some jean using a Stillman 4 concrete and it's going to be absolutely easy, any distiller can make it at home. So let's take a look at the jean baskets. So as you can see, we're making one and a half inch and two inch units for the small distillers. And the construction is very interesting. Over here we have universal thermometer port, so you can install a four millimeter, six millimeter probe, or just an end cap to seal this connection. If you don't wanna see any measurement over here. So the port for the small basket, so as you can see, you can change the basket while the distillation process and uh, change the flavor or maybe refresh. This is joined for the vapor, for the condensation. And from this unit, you can collect uh, amount of condensate, which is liquid and it has a lot of flavor and taste. So the liquid won't go back to deflagmator and back to the packing and you won't get any uh, like a boiling flavors. Two inch unit, as you can see the construction is same but it doesn't have reducer to go uh, to one and a half inch. And it's just a little bit smaller. Same over here. You install the basket. You install the gasket and then end cap. And then you can lock it with a tree clamp. Also in this, um, these kits we have a roller valve. This is for the connection between this collection tube and uh, the other piece of silicone hose. So you are able to open and close this valve to drain all the liquid from this unit and collect it to other jars. So let's install our one and a half inch unit to our distiller. So firstly, we need to detach one of the bands for installing our gin basket. And first of all, let's take our condenser off. This one we're taking away, we don't need it. And on the top of the deflagmator, we install this gin basket. We can install our basket. It's not really important right now, but just to be sure that everything we haven't set. Then we take our clamp and the condenser. Oops. Install jumper from the condenser or from the deflamated to condenser. Yeah, and we almost done. Also, we need to install a silicon gasket four millimeter for the thermometer. Small gasket. and thermometer and we are still able to control our distiller uh, with the temperature on the top and the last thing is the roller valve simply 
install it on a tube of the collection and other holes and end of the other holes we can just put it in a jar where we're gonna collect the liquid which will condense on the surface of the this unit also don't forget to close the roller well in the beginning so with this unit you can still double distill uh, your uh, low wines and then during the second distillation uh, the flavor you can flavor it with no problem you just need to turn off the heating and then open the three clamp lock take out your basket and fill it with the spices and berries or what you like and you are able to make flavored moonshine uh, right away that's why it's a really useful device and today we are making some gin i really love gin i'm making every like three months and over here we have uh, like a simple kit it's uh, like really popular in russia or uh, almost any city you can find these spices and the berries there's a lot of them for making mostly any alcohol you want yeah they're looking like this one and this one we are gonna use in this basket so also we are not actually doing second distillation we have uh, already made it and we just gonna flavor it with a reflux so right now we take our alcohol, which is about 96 ABV, uh, put it in our boiler. It's like a really small boiler, just 12 liters, like a baby one. <laughs> yeah, you can use it with the extractors of uh, sock sled. You can uh, like uh, experiment with that. So these yeah, really are popular and a lot of beginners are buying them in Russia. Uh, yep. So we're gonna have about five liters of 50% uh, alcohol and that's gonna be absolutely fine for us. Now it's, just, it's gonna be a little bit uh, low amount, of, doesn't matter. Uh, we just need to show you the process and how simple is that. As you can see, really, really simple. We don't have any four shorts in here, so we be doing flavoring just right away. We just need to uh, fill it with uh, our berries and spices and close it and hit it. Every new hurts a little more than the last time around. For the best result, it's better to crush the berries of juniper just to have more flavor of this berry. So let's open up our small bag with berries and spices and fill our basket with them. Yeah, so it's filled to the top and let's install it to the unit gasket and cap and a lock so we need just to turn the heating for the heating we can use maximum power but for the distillation process it's better to go about 1.5 kilowatt or 2 kilowatt just to be sure that your condenser will 
uh, work with amount of ABV inside of your boiler. Over here we have 50% of alcohol, so it's a lot, and we're gonna go about 1.5 kilowatt. So five minutes just passed and we have a really small amount of alcohol and that's why temperature over here is might be rising just in a second because extension pipe is already really really hot and I can't touch it. Yep. Yeah, as you can see, temperature is rising and this unit is also warming up. So the vapor will come to this unit and take the flavor and, and go into the product condenser. And over here we're collecting our product to the final jar. Yep, almost hot. So right now we're just waiting for the product from the condenser and also we're looking for the, this hose when this is going to be having a lot of liquid inside of it. So we're running with the power almost 3 kilowatt. All of this because of uh, this reflux condenser. I forgot that we are running with this one. Uh, if we would run without this unit, just like a pot still, we would like be using about 1.5 and about 2 kilowatt. Anyway, uh, over here we have product which is absolutely nice. There's a lot of flavor of juniper and other spices, like on the back. So over here, as you can see, we have liquid and all we need to do is just open the roller valve and drain all this liquid. Depending on the temperature you have in the room, this unit will collect a low amount or a high amount of uh, this liquid. This is actually a bit hot but flavor is really different because the vapor condense on the basket over here and there's a really different rules and this one is like a it's like grungy so really really smelly and not uh, not really high quality like we're getting over here Yes, so we need to run up to 100 Celsius in the boiler. I just need to install here to, to our, my thermometer. Also, we have like a small life heart just to avoid this time to come to a distiller each time when you are uh, having your liquid in this liquid management unit. Uh, you just need to open this roller valve and on the end of the hose, you just need to make a knot like this one, so it will be working like a uh, airlock. Over here, I need to add another jar because holes become smaller. Yeah, and over here, we just open the roller valve, and all this liquid will drop down uh, to the cylinder in a time when the level is going to be higher than this note. There's not a lot of like great flavor uh, we don't have any juniper at all 
maybe other spices uh, which in this kit but on the other end we have a lot of juniper really really bright uh, taste and smell also you can use this uh, unit as a liquid management unit you on the top you can install the reflux condenser diplomator and use this liquid management unit use this tube with the roller valve as a unit where you can take your heads hearts and tails uh, additionally you can install product cooler and uh, it's gonna be a liquid management distiller So we have about 100 Celsius in the boiler and we can finish our distillation process. So we got 50 milliliters of liquid which we got from the, this unit and it's not really smelly but I already told you there's a lot of like a grungy smell so it won't go in a final product and also over here we have our gin yeah so right now we just need to mix it with the water and then bottle it uh, let's take a smell of product watch what we got yeah really high quality flavor really nice i usually make this product by uh, this way uh, only i'm using two inch cutter head gin basket which is also a product of ours and uh, i really love it because you can uh, during the distillation change the spices for example you have more alcohol in your boiler and you're able to like take a lot of spices and you're able just change this basket during the distillation and make other alcohol also you need to change the jar don't forget about it yeah and it's really enjoying and our uh, distillers who buying products from us really loving this and a really small distiller gin basket thank you for watching i hope you like this video don't forget to subscribe on our youtube channel hit the bell notification and feel free to ask anything you like in the comment section or write us a gmail or email uh, feel free to write on our whatsapp viber telegram we have everything thank you for watching again happy distilling <laughs>